So I found some stuff at home to make a very DIY thread and needle and hoop so I could embroider this cute little flower. Cool. changed my life kind of really like it's the most popular video i have and also one of the like first ones so it's kind of thanks to embroidery that i actually do youtube i've also been able to meet a bunch of rad people through embroidery and make some custom stuff one being the most complimented one is definitely this jacket and i want to do like a basic embroidery course for forever and just haven't found the time so i actually teamed up with these cuties Charles and Ellen, who are expert embroidery artists and uh, have taught so many people and actually have a uh, beginner course for free. So I put that link in the description. Me thinking, how can I make this like more accessible to everyone? I'm like, maybe I'll just try to find things around the house, like some sweaters. And only use the things found around my house to uh, use for like a needle or an embroidery hoop. But when it comes down to it, like all this supplies from like a craft store is like maybe five bucks. So now it's turned more into like can I actually do this? Is this possible? So first, to make a needle, I'm gonna use this toothpick and safety pin. It would've been funny if I would've used a needle to make the needle, but broke that. And then ended up using a tiny little scissor to just like drill a hole into the toothpick. And hopefully that works. So I'm gonna thread that up and just test it out and see if this is even possible. So just using a normal embroidery hoop and fabric, we're just gonna poke her on up. Just like a normal embroidery it was kind of because it was so thick it was kind of hard to push it through and all that stuff and it left kind of a big old hole but it's i mean it, it it's where it's working so i did use the scissors to like kind of shave it and try to make it a little thinner that should help and then i thought since i have these safety pins why don't i try to make a needle from the safety pin so i use some scissors to kind of just break it off and then I'm going to take a little bit of string and make a little loop at the end of the safety pin. Super glue it into place. And yeah, I should be able to thread it through that little loop. And this worked like surprisingly really well. But I didn't end up using it at all. So that's fun. Now let's make some thread. With using that sweater that's on the floor. No, um, I cut a little hole just to test and see if this is going to work and how it un weaves, on stitches, on threads, on threads, we're gonna say on threads. And it worked pretty well, so I just cut out a little patch and unravels, that, that was the word I was looking for. Look at this little guy just unraveling. I actually made so much thread from this. I'm gonna have th thread from sweaters for days now. Just from that little piece, I made like two big old fistfuls of thread. So I did that with a couple of different colors I was going to use for my color scheme. I'm going to make a cute little rose or flower or something. And with all the thread made, now to try to make an embroidery hoop. I thought I might use like this picture frame and cut out another like square that would be able to like wedge the fabric into it and hold it in place. And then for fabric, I wanted something that isn't going to like have a lot of stretch. So I just have this little dress shirt, cut out a nice little patch of it. And we're just going to put it in place and then shove that thing in there to hold it tight. I, this is the idea. Pinch it in like it's the picture. And no, that's just, it's so, 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 so loose. So if I'm going to hold it there tight in place, I thought I would just use some duct tape. And then use that to like stretch it to make it nice and tight. So I put a, a one right there on the side, flipped it over and pulled it tight into that on all four sides until we had some sort of embroidery hoop thing. <laughs> Honestly, it worked pretty well. And now I just need the design. So I sketched out this little flower rose thing. I wasn't going for a rose, but that's kind of what it turned into as I draw, rod, drood, done. You did your drawing right now, you're doing so good. Then I just did it with a marker onto the fabric. And before I even got started, my needle broke on me. So I thought, what if I just use super glue and put it there on the end and then just super glued the, the thread onto place. We'll, we'll see if that works. So pull it on through and it's holding pretty good. 
did a stitch and another stitch another stitch another stitch another stitch and yeah works well enough so I just clamped it in place so I could get this cute little time lapse and while I was working I, I came to the realization that I wish I would have stolen these sweaters from my mom's closet so I could have like given her a super personalized gift I think she would have loved that next time and Loki kind of surprised at how well this worked it was a little hard um, to like get the stitching close together because it was making such big holes um, in the, the back fabric and then the other hard part was that uh, like getting the small little detail with the with the toothpick because it wasn't like super sharp I also went through so many different toothpicks and then also when I ran out of thread or I had to change a color I had to re super glue it back onto a, a toothpick or a new toothpick but <laughs> we got it done and the last thing that I wanted to do was to add like this yellow as some sort of like highlight on the petals and the stem and the leaves and all that and I really like how that turned out kind of made it feel more complete so because embroidery has been like such a I don't know a big thing in my life literally changed my life for sure um, <laughs> I wanted to know how it's like impacted other people's life because I mean not everyone's gonna like start a YouTube channel from embroidery so I want to know why other people do it so I made a little prompt on my Instagram story how does embroidery impact your life and I mean a lot of it was just like cute things about bonding with like their grandmas but some major things that were popping up was how it's like helped with their anxiety super calming super fun how they're able to create custom things that instead of trying to search for the perfect thing they were able to make it and making gifts for people how it like launched them into other crafts that they're now doing so really stoked that i am able to team up with charles and ellen to offer you guys that free course to the beginners they also have a bunch of other courses um i think they're doing a 15 percent off for the next 10 days for me if you guys want something i'll put the links in the, in the description so just got the final touches of the highlights done they're on the flowers i just squoke squoke i squeaked i'm just going through second puberty all the time and just need to take it out of the hoop which means just <laughs> unduct taping it and i ended up stretching the fabric around the glass and just putting it right back in the frame so there we go got a cute little embroidery piece all made from toothpick sweaters and shirts things that you can find at home so charles and ellen have this free watercolor and embroidery course that i'm actually going to be following and i'm going to get that out next week show you guys how it went for me and also i'll put the links to that and the other free course and the 15 percent all in my description All right, so be sure to like and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that bell notification. And yeah, if you guys want your name here at the end of the videos, you can go sign up to be a Schmoody Pie at my website, www.schmoody.com.